I'm very honored to be here with Joe Vento, who is a world famous musician. He's been in Vegas for a long time, works with many people. He served in World War II. You have so many stories to tell us. So thank you so much for being here. We're very happy to have you. Well, I'm honored to be here with you. Thank you. So you have worked, like I said, with many famous people. Who, out of all the people that you worked with, is your favorite? It's hard to define because Paul Newman was among one of those, and then in his qualities, and also Dean Martin, laid back, excuse me, and Anne Margaret, those three are most outstanding in my, and I equate them all about the same. Anne Margaret was very effervescent. She was a great actress, beautiful singer, and uh, just a beautiful lady, and a very wonderful qualities about her. Yes. And Paul Newman is a nice, just, just a nice, one nice guy. And Dino, he was very, very good. If I may, we were doing the thing, when we were at the Sands Hotel, they moved us up across the street at the, at the uh, Caesar's Palace. And, uh, and Sammy Davis did his thing, the Rat Pack, and then Sinatra, and then at the last they had Dino. And it had a complete blackout with a tippity drums. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Las Vegas Pieces Teasers Palace proudly presents Dino. Everybody's had my body sometime. <laughs> hey, don't laugh, baby. You could be next. <laughs> that's, that's what he did. <laughs> <laughs> so being a musician who's played with all these amazing people and been in Vegas for a long time, yes. why is a mus being a musician harder than being a doctor? Well, I'm both. I You're have, both? I, yes, I'm an uh, ophthalmologist. Oh. I studied, my, my father started me out late in life. At two years old, he put a quarter-sized violin in my hands. And I studied under Professor Bevilacqua, concertmaster of the New York Philharmonic Orchestra. And he was a very strict taskmaster, as also my father was a music professor. And I couldn't cheat because most parents, when they send their kids to school, they don't know whether they're doing it right or not. But with my father, an Italian, enough said. <laughs> 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 so I didn't want to get. In those days, it wasn't hard to do, you know, and I'm so much rewarded for it because I, when I was six years old, by the time I was six, I went into a flute and clarinet and all that, and then accordion. At six years old, he entered me in the, the world contest of, among accordionists, 42 uh, accordionists around the world. And he said, you got to do Grimsky Korsakoff's Flight of the Bumblebee blindfolded <laughs> and I won the world, I won the, I won the money and, and this was the depression days and they had the you know, depression, I have to explain to you. And anyway, I, I gave them the money and they bought them a new car. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah, a new car, the old Model T Ford, you had to crank it. And I had to go out to start the car on the cold morning. Come on, Jojo, come on, come on, crank it hard. And he used to come back. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so how did you end up choosing, you're still playing the accordion. Yes, you're still I play piano and accordion music. mostly. And I play organ and I play, oh, I did Beethoven's, it's on that, that thing, and you're gonna give that, I'm gonna give that to you, I'll sign that CD to you. Oh, you brought us CDs? That the one he's, the one he's, yeah. Don't tell me anything. Yeah. Oh, thank you the, the so one much. The playing, yeah. But uh, I, I, I did fly the bubble, I mean, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, with all the 60 instruments that I play, I overdubbed the trumpet bone. That's pretty impressive. Well, we're we're excited to have that. I'm definitely steal one of those. 
So why do kids these days think that playing music louder makes it better? Well, that's the $64,000 that question. Oh, it's very specific. The down, dumbing down of the America, that's the same. It's, you know, I, I don't have to tell you, drug-related. I know people take part in all that. I never did. But they say, Joe, what's the secret for living? I says, I never ate meat in my life. I never smoked a cigarette pot. I've been around it. I've been around crack coke parties. How else are you going to find out what they do unless you're part of it? <laughs> that's a very good observation. So, you know, so that's... Glad that you've been around in Vegas so long and you're living this long, healthy life. And where can we catch you around town? I'm at the Barrymore Lounge, actually in the the lobby of the Royal Resorts Casino, 99 Convention Center way. All right. He, he knows. Ellen knows. <laughs> and Ellen knows. You asked me about the about music and the doctor. A doctor, when he operates on someone and the scalpel slips, oh, nobody but the patient and him know that he he he, he died. But he still gets paid. He still gets paid. But a musician. Maybe the family knows. But when you when you're working as a musician, in the capacity that I had, because I was in most I mean motion pictures and television, and I used to play the violin, the viola, the different. And when you're doing those things, those difficult passages, you gotta be. If you make a mistake, you're out. You know, a doctor, a doc, doctor he, he killed the patient, he collect, still collects his money. But if you do a mistake in the music, you're out, and they'll never call you back. That's an excellent point. So. <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There, there's, there's your answer. <laughs> That's the answer. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. We're so happy to have you. You've been in Vegas for so long and made your impact on the community, and we appreciate that you're a veteran. and have partaken in all these wars, and thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thank all you. Right. Thank, thank you very you. much. Next, we have Dylan with Steve from the Jabberwock.